Hello friends, today we are going to design a fixed edge circular slab for a roof of 6 meter inside diameter for the following specifications. So before you are going to watch this video, you should have to thoroughly go through our previous session that is the design of simply supported circular slab. So from that you can uh, know what are the steps required in designing a circular slab. So we have three edge conditions. First one is simply supported condition that is simply supported circular slab. Second one is fully restrained circular slab that is fixed edge circular slab. Third one is partially restrained or partially fixed circular slab. In all these three cases we have different, different moments that is circumferential moment and radial moments at center and edge so you have to understand those values of moments firstly then only you can uh, design the section okay after that we can do this problem so this is a design of fixed edge circular slab so here we have thickness as 150 mm that is 0.15 meter and live load 3.9 kilonewton per meter square use m20 grade concrete and fe 415 steel so first to say uh, step is same as that of before here we have uh, similar steps uh, as in uh, simply supported circular slab some additional reinforcement is provided in this case that is the only difference okay first step is load calculation so here we have to calculate self weight of slab like in the previous case and live load is equal to 3.9 and uh, self weight we get it as 3.75 uh, for unit area 25 is the uh, unit weight of concrete thickness given for unit area uh, it is like this 3.75 kN per meter square next is live load that is equal to 3.9 summing up we get a total load of 7.65 kN per meter square so second step is design of section for that we have to know the circumferential moment m theta is the circumferential moment and mr is the radial moment so circumferential moment m theta c and radial moment m theta sorry mr at center is same that is 1 by 16 times w a square a is the radius here we have 6 meter dia so radius is 3 so we will get the value for m theta c and mrc as 4.303 kilo newton meter and radial moment mre is equal to this value that is minus 8.606 kilo newton meter and m theta e this is not c actually at edge circumferential moment disease is equal to 0 so m theta c is equal to 0 so how this negative value comes so this can be understand this can be understood from the previous case okay so this is a figure representing the moment conditions in a fixed circular slab so at the center uh, we have for radial moment at the center we have this value positive value and after a distance a by root 3 the sign of the moment changes so at the edge radial moment mre is negative that is minus 2 by 16 w a square so this is the point from the center a by root 3 distance we have uh, the change in sign for the moment so circumferential moment m theta is maximum at the center and it uh, becomes zero at the edge that i have already said that m theta edge is equal to m theta e is equal to zero so from this we can understand it is needed a radial reinforcement that is negative radial reinforcement since the moment is negative negative radial reinforcement is needed at the edge that is a difference in designing fixed circular slab okay 
in the simply supported case mr h mr e is zero so it was not needed any radial reinforcement and m theta h m theta e was there okay so we have provided circumferential reinforcement as circular rings okay we have provided three rings in that case so here it is not needed because the circumferential moment at the edge is zero this is not c this is e so as we have discussed uh, the change in uh, sign of the moment is at a distance a by root 3 so from the uh, edge 3 minus that is the radius minus 1.732 that is a by root 3 so this value so from the edge at a distance 1.268 meter the change of sign in case of the moment so here maximum bending moment is equal to 8.606 therefore depth required effective depth required we can calculate from this equation that is we know that point 0.138 fck bd square is equal to mu so from that equation we will get depth required as 55 minimum depth so we can provide it is safe to provide d is equal to 150 mm and using 10 mm bars and clear cover of 15 d is equal to 130 mm for the bottom layer and 130 minus 10 that is 120 mm for the top layer so this uh, idea also we have discussed in the last uh, case in the last session that is simply supported circular slab that is the total this is a circular slab so this view you can understand so here 150 mm is the total depth and 15 mm is the clear cover so not effective cover clear cover 15 mm plus 5 to this first bar 15 plus 5 20 so 150 minus 20 is the uh, effective depth in case of this bottom bar so while considering the upper bar we will get 130 minus 10 again because half the dia of the first bar and half the dia of the second bar so we will get effective depth in case of the upper bar so 130 mm and 120 mm so here also firstly we have to calculate steel reinforcement at the center because there is circumferential moment and radial moment at the center so we have to calculate the reinforcement this step we have discussed in the last case it is similar so we will get ast as 153 mm square but we have from the code as always we are calculating ast minimum is equal to 0.12 percent of the total cross section so that is equal to as the minimum is equal to 180 mm square so we have to provide this minimum reinforcement so using 10 mm bars you can calculate the spacing so after calculating the spacing you will get it as 436 mm and maximum spacing as specified in the is code is 56 it is 3d or 450 okay so it is uh, 360 mm spacing lesser of this 2 okay therefore provide mesh reinforcement consisting of 10 mm at 360 center to center spacing in two mutually perpendicular directions at as bottom reinforcement so bottom reinforcement we can provide like this this type of mutually perpendicular reinforcement we have provided in the simply supported slab case also okay so at the edge there is no circumferential reinforcement is required because circumferential moment at edge that is m theta e is zero for fixed slab fixed slab m theta e is zero but in simply supported slab m theta e is not zero so we are providing a circumferential reinforcement that is we have provided three rings of circumferential reinforcement here it is not actually needed here here radial reinforcement 